The Banana Life was created by the Bay Area's own Doc Parks for the opening menu at Pagan Idol in San Francisco. The drink was on the menu day one and is still there today. The drink is featured in Minimalist Tiki by Matt Petrick and Kerry Smith and is one of three cocktails by Doc Parks in the book. I asked Doc Parks about Banana Life and he told me that originally they used Brugal Extra Dry as the base since that would be an easy entry rum for many of the guests of Pagan Idol who may not have any experience at all with Tiki. Now you kind of just assume that a Tiki bar will be filled with devoted Tiki fans, but San Francisco can be different depending on the neighborhood. So it makes sense to keep things light at first. Over time, the drink was adapted to other white rums, agricoles, and even some agave spirits. And in my recent attempt at making this, I used Brugal and I loved it. It helped a lot of the flavor shine and hold up throughout the rest of the drink. Then I made it a second time with some of my go-to rums like Appleton and Hamilton 86, and I didn't think it was quite as good, but it was not a true side-by-side -side comparison, so it's kind of hard to say for certain. For the banana life, you'll need lime juice, pineapple juice, grapefruit juice, fashionola, a banana liqueur, and a light rum. Since I've already been kind of playing around with the rums in this one, I'm gonna make mine today with Denison 5, the, the light version of Denison. And if you have Brugal, I might encourage you to try that as it was originally made when Pagan Idol opened. Now for fashionola. Let's just talk about this for only a minute. So what is fashionola? Nobody really knows, but there's uh, dozens, uh, hundreds of recipes even out there on the internet. Now I made some fashionola many months ago. It's probably been at least six months. And this is the same exact fashionola. I kept it in the freezer. I took it out a couple days ago to test it and it tastes to me just as good. It's very strawberry forward, so I like that. Uh, Cocktails and Sons makes another one. It's also strawberry forward. But if uh, you're looking for a fashionola recipe to make, Look online, Doc Parks might even have one out there. And if you're not looking to get into Fashionola, you can sub in passion fruit syrup. Uh, usually Fashionola's uh, main component is passion fruit and then a bunch of other fruit. So no consensus on what the actual Fashionola recipe should be. So use whatever you want and then stick to the passion fruit syrup if you wanna keep things kind of simple. So let's make the banana life, and we're gonna build this in a drink mixer tin with a quarter ounce of lime juice, three quarter ounces of pineapple juice, three quarter ounces of grapefruit juice, half an ounce of fashionola, a quarter ounce of a banana liqueur, two ounces of a lightly aged and filtered rum. We're gonna flash blend for five seconds. Pour this into a snifter and garnish with some pineapple fronds and some plantain chips. So there you go, The Banana Life by Doc Parks. I feel like I already know the questions that are gonna be in the comments. So for the garnish, uh, I keep frozen pineapple fronds, pineapple leaves on hand. And even if they're frozen, like right now, I, I didn't have one out and thawed it. You just run underneath the sink for a couple seconds with cold water. And then the plantain or banana chips, uh, you can get them at any, I shouldn't say any, but you can get them at Latin markets. I found a, a giant bag of plantain chips. The only problem is this is about the only usable garnish you're gonna get out of them. But uh, the good news is they are delicious. So let's try the banana life. Now the thing that's gonna keep you and I from having the same drink is the Fashionola because I get the strawberry and like a tiny bit of mango because I put some mango in my Fashionola and using a lighter rum helps all those fruit flavors come through. You get a little bit of the banana there 
And then really the, I think the biggest kind of surprise when I first had this and, and, and having it now is how prevalent the grapefruit juice is. Obviously there's three quarters of an ounce, but that with the acidity from the lime juice and the pineapple juice, it really leans more into grapefruit juice, which is great. And then you get some sweetness from the pineapple juice, and then you get that awesome foam that you can only really get from pineapple juice. So all in all, a great cocktail and something you can play around with. Uh, you could follow uh, what Doc said and, and try agricoles, try tequila in here. But it's nice because it is a fruit forward cocktail that isn't overly sweet. It allows you to highlight the rum and the flavors of the fashionola. So that is it for this one. I'm Derek, this is Making Drink. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like below, consider subscribing to the channel and otherwise, see you in the next one.